Hello there everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day as always. Today, as you can see from the title, we're going to be creating a Fall Guys map, but with a twist. With this Fall Guys map, I'm going to use one of every single object. Now, this is my first time actually making a Fall Guys map, so I'm very excited uh, to see how this turns out. And to make it even more interesting, as you can see, I've put all the objects into spin the wheel so that everything is gonna be just completely random and it's gonna be very interesting to see how this turns out now let's get straight into the video if you haven't already done so everyone be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and if you enjoyed the video it'd be much appreciated if you could smash the like button let's get into it okay so let's go to create a map race and oh hold on a second we have a selection here so we've got original and digital mm, what should we go for you know what let's um let's spin the wall for this as well okay everyone here we go here is our very first spin the wall of today and let's see if we're going to be making an original map or a digital map and we get oh it's quite laggy we got digital it looks like we're doing a digital map everyone so let's get right into it all right and here we go so digital and we're now loading into our first ever map builder okay so welcome blah 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 let's get into it so everyone is our map maker if if you haven't already seen this uh let me just quickly explain so you just press up and you get all the objects uh and yeah i'm genuinely so excited uh to be making this video because i don't know how it's going to turn out and it's my first time making a map ever okay everyone let's take a look at what our first object will be here we go three two one and our first object is oh we've got bumper triangle we've got bumper triangle everyone let's go all right let's remove that from the list and get our first object going okay so first things first we need to actually find this object where could it be I finally found a bumper triangle here it is and let's do it our very first object of the map here we go this right here could be could be history how do we rotate this oh wait actually what size should we make it i need to see if the size okay so the size doesn't change the budget which is good because i'm actually concerned if we run out of budget but i guess uh, we'll just have to see as we go along okay you know what since it's the first obstacle let's make it large just so just in case so everyone can fit and uh, how do you rotate this oh, okay i'm kind of struggling here how do you rotate can you not rotate 3d rotate oh there we go okay <laughs> sorry everyone as i said uh, earlier this is my first time making a full guys map ah uh, here we go here we go here we go okay let's make it nice and flat no need to rotate it up or down i don't know why it's not aligned with the roll but i guess this will do for now there we go everyone our very first object is down now let's see what we get next and this time it's gonna be oh another triangle or oh, maybe a diamond hey we've got a diamond everyone all right basic diamond let's go okay we are now back in the map let's find the basic diamond here we go everyone here is our basic diamond i found it a lot quicker this time uh which is good okay how do you move it like up or down uh okay so that's the zoom out ah there we go okay okay i've learned i'm, I'm learning everyone. i'm learning all right now they're connected which is good and what should we make the size of this one <laughs> should i make it small just <laughs> make the map the most impossible map let's do you know what let's do large uh for this one change it up a bit and we will place it right a bit down how do i move it down perfect 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 and there we go all right everyone we've got our basic diamond down so so far we have the bumper triangle and the basic diamond let's see what our third object will be and our next object is imagine it's like another triangle or diamond oh my god they might oh okay we have a semicircle now a padded semicircle to be more specific let's go all right so for some reason in this part of the recording my microphone just decided to stop working i have no idea why so what I'll do is I'll quickly let you all know which objects were selected in this part of the video where my microphone was just not working. So in this part of the recording, the objects that were chosen by the wheel were the push box, arc, blizzard fan, rotating hammer, push ramp one, drum or lily pad if you like to call it that, poly half pipe, speed bump, Boom Blaster, the Padded Triangle, Rotating Wall, Punching Glove, Rainbow, 
and the conveyor belt. And now it's time to get back into the video. Okay, everyone, now that this is working again, let's see what objects we get next. And our next object is going to be... Ooh... Padded beam? Pillar? Pillar, I think it's pillar. Yes, everyone, we got padded pillar. Let's go. Oh, I like this one. A big soft cylinder. Nice. Okay, so this is nice and simple, which is good. Exactly what we need after everything <laughs> uh, we got from the wheel. Let's see, can we change the settings of this? Yes, we can make it large, small, or medium. Let's make it nice and large just to make the map a bit easier. And we'll place it. Hold on, we need to rotate it a little bit, don't we? There we go, that's a, that's a bit better. Yeah, okay. It's not exactly level, but it's close enough, I guess. So we'll place it right Yeah, Perfect. Okay, we got a padded pillar. Uh, actually, should we make it a bit lower? Let me quickly play test this to see if we can jump on it properly. And yeah, that looks fine. That looks about right. Maybe I'll, I'll put it one level lower just to make it a tiny bit easier. And there we go. Perfect. All right, lovely. We have our padded pillar. Let's go. It's looking good so far. This part it might be a bit difficult. Um, I've given it a few play tests, but let, let's see. Let me give it one more play test just to see how it is quickly. Let's see if we can get it consistently. Yeah, this part's all right. And oh, look at that little, look at that little MOG play, everyone. <laughs> yeah, so this part's okay. It's not too difficult. And once you get here, the map gets a lot easier as well. So it looks like things have worked out pretty good so far. And let's see what object we'll get next. I keep forgetting to actually remove the objects from the wheel. So hopefully we don't make that mistake. All right, we'll give us something good. Let's see what we're going to get. Next up is curved. Nope, not curved. Oh, a block or padded beam. Bumper block, everyone. Let's go. So whilst we're looking for this bumper block, I will be doing a big playthrough at the end of the video through the map just to see if it works. So be sure to stay tuned. Where is this bumper block? I'm expecting it to be just a nice, simple square. Ah, okay, here it is. Here's the bumper block. So it's the, it's the same as our first object, the bumper triangle, but instead of it being a triangle, it's just a, a square. So let's place it just underneath the pillar here so people can bounce on it. All right, hold on a second. We might have to, ooh, can we change the size? Uh, nope, I did not need to press that. Yes, okay, let's make it nice and large and we'll place it. Actually, should we do a little rotate? Should I make it like a, Oh, like a diamond uh, orientation. Oh, it's a bit off. Hold on a second. Let's rotate it one more time. There we go. That, that looks much better. Okay. You know what? Let's make it a diamond shape. Just to make it a bit more interesting. And we'll place it right. Can we place it there? Yeah. All right. That looks good. Let's give it a quick play test and see. Can we change the strength of it? No, we cannot. Okay. Just the size. That's fine. Let's see how strong this is. Oh, oh nice. Okay. So we can put something in front of it and it should be safe enough for everyone to land on. Spindable time. I have a feeling we're going to get a decoration this time. We haven't had a decoration in a long time. But we get turnstile. A door dash. <sighs> Ooh, a turnstile. But I was very close between turnstile and door dash. Okay, I'm not actually sure what the turnstile is. Oh wait, no, no, I think I know what it is. It's one of these, right? Surely it's something that turns. Here we go. Here is our turnstile. Oh, God. Okay, how are we going to put this in place? Um, <laughs> This is going to be very interesting. Oh, God. Wait, type double. Oh, okay, okay. So we can change the type of it. That's fine. We can change the size and the stiffness. Okay, I think we need to make it really stiff. Hold on a second. Do we? Should we place it like this? You know what? Let's place it face up like this. See, see what happens. I'm going to give it a play test real quick and see what we can do with it. So if we just place it here and spawn over here, can we actually land on it without a problem? Oh, we can. Okay, that's fine. I mean, no, oh, that's a bit slippery. Oh God. Maybe you can just ju jump over the middle, right? Hopefully. Yes, you can. Okay, that's fine. I, I know this is a little bit hard everyone, but we we've got no choice but to put this in. But before I place it, I just want to see real quick what happens if we rotate it this way. Uh, not that way. Perfect, and just place it like this. Let's see if you can actually walk on it or, or not. All right, here we go. Okay, that's fine, actually. I, I know I slipped off, but let me give it that another try. Okay, so let's say we land on here. Oh, it does turn a bit. Okay. Oh, should we keep it like this or keep it upright? It's a tough one. It's, it's really tough. You know what I'll do? I'll keep it like this just to give players a bit more option. And it is easier to land on 
either of these sides rather than having it, you know, face face up, if that makes sense. But what I'll do is for the next object, I'll make it nice and low so it's easier for players to land on it. I believe we have about 35 objects left. So let's see what our next one will be. We have ooh, a padded beam. We got another padded object. Let's go. Padded beam, where you at? Oh, this is nice. Actually, is it? Please tell me we can change the size of it. Yes. Okay, nice. Okay, we can make it large. That's good. Ooh, we can change the color as well. Oh, there's only two colors. <laughs> I mean, all right. I'm just going to pick one at random and boom. Okay, we'll go with orange, I guess. We don't need to rotate it, do we? It, it depends on the next object, whether I will rotate or not. But what, what I'll do is I'm going to place it a bit lower, right about here and bring it close. So if that object does tilt, the, the turnstile, if that does tilt, it'll be easier for players to, to land on the beam. And I think that's perfect. So even if the turnstile turns, players will have an option to just go underneath and land on the beam, which should hopefully make the map a bit easier. And perfect, that looks great to me. So this is our map so far. So far, so good. Do you know what I am concerned about? We haven't had a checkpoint yet, and I'm really, really starting to worry now. Imagine the game just puts the checkpoint at the end of the map. That would be insane. Okay, now what we're hoping for, I think we're about halfway through, so we really want to get a checkpoint now. So the checkpoint is just at the bottom left of the wheel there. Let's see if we can get it. Here we go. Come on, please give us a checkpoint game. And we get a cliff or conveyor ramp. Cliff platform. We got cliff platform. Let's go. Take that out of the list and let's go into our map. Oh, this is the cliff platform. Okay, a colorful platform for players to drop down onto. Nice. Oh, look at the size of this. Wow. Okay. Um, where? How should we place this? Should we place it like this? No, but there's a wall. Okay. What do we do about that? Oh, it's in the shape of an L. <laughs> Hold that L. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's see if we rotate it this way. No, not that way. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Should we have it like this? Or oh, wait, I've, got, I've, I've got an idea. Let's let's tilt this this way. And then we will bring this down. No, not that way. <laughs> oh, I'm messing up a bit here. Like we'll have it like this and bring it down like like that. It's a really big object, isn't it? I think that's good. Let's bring, center it a bit better. Uh, zoom out and perfect. There we go. Lovely. You got rainbows on the side here as well as a cheeky little bit of decoration, which is perfect. And let's see if this works out. Yeah, this works out perfectly. People players can just um, jump down here and continue on with the map please give us a checkpoint please come on will we need a checkpoint and we get see so oh no not even close push fan that's a push fan oh push fan let's go everyone okay, our budget seems to be going pretty smoothly i still don't know if we're gonna go over or not but hopefully we don't where is our push fan all right here's our push fan so the interesting thing about this object is that players can choose to push it as the name suggests <laughs> can we change the size yes we can change the size oh now there's no point of making it large because pl then players can't reach it wait i want to see th does this object float like the others or not all right let's give it a quick play test three two one and nope <laughs> it eats right down all right we're gonna have to change that so let's place this on top of this object nice and in the middle my worry is if players just decide to push this off the map so hopefully they don't do that Hey, if you're gonna play this map, don't push this off the map, okay? <laughs> I wanna make it so players can actually stand on it. So let's see if you can stand on it if it's on medium size. Nope, even if it's medium size, you still can't. Let's make it small. There we go. And surely you can jump on this, right? Yes, you can jump on this. That's good, that's good. Hold on. Can you jump on it without diving? No, you can't. Oh, okay. How are we gonna do this? So let's say I'm playing the map and we dive on it. Uh, the thing is, is you ragdoll. Oh, God. Do you know what we'll do? Well, oh, that works, to be fair. We'll, we'll see what our next object is and see how we can adjust this. Let's get it. The next object will be interesting because that depends how we'll adjust the push fan. Oh, padded block or padded ramp. Padded block. Let's go. Okay, still no, no checkpoint, but let's find this object. Let's get our padded block. I found a padded floor, but <laughs> it's not a padded block. Ah, okay, nice, nice. Here is our padded block. So how should we place this? Let's First of all, let's make it level with the cliff platform i think that's about right i, I want to make it so you have to use the fan to get to it but maybe that's a bit much hold on a second all right let's give this a quick play test so yeah, you can easily dive to that can't you mm. okay let's move it a bit forward and i think that's about right okay, let's see if you can dive to it 
Yeet. Yes. Okay, you can still dive to it. Let's push it a bit more forward. Right about here. I think right about here is good. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, surely you can't dive to this, right? Yeah, okay, that's good. So let's see. Can we get... Can you reach it with the fan? That's the question. Oh, that's a bit tough. Hold on a second. Let's try that again. I can't even get on the fan. I keep ragdolling. Stop ragdolling. There we go. Okay, we're now on the fan. And we're still ragdolling. But this is fine. So let's get some height and go. Okay, yeah, it looks like we need to move it a bit, a bit back. Move it a tiny bit back. And that should be good. So let's see. Can you dive from here? Nope, you can't make it from there. So let's see if you can use the fan to make it. And another thing, you can push the fan a bit more forward than this. So I guess that's good. But you still can't make the jump. So let's bring it a bit more back. Okay, I brought a bit more back. Can you dive? Yes, you can dive to it. Interesting. I wish you could change the strength of the fan. That would be really cool. All right, I think I've placed it in the perfect position now where you can't make it without using the fan. So let's see. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, so you can make it using the fan, but you can't make it without using the fan, which is perfect. I'm also going to push the fan a bit more forward just to make it a bit easier for the players. And I think that's good. So you should be able to jump on the fan. And once you find your balance here, just like that, you should be able to make the jump. Perfect. Let's go, everyone. Come on, whoa, give us a checkpoint. Let's see. And we get, come on, please be a checkpoint. Oh, I think it's a decoration. A cloud? Oh, wait, we got a checkpoint. Let's go. I didn't see that. Let's go, everyone. We finally got a checkpoint. Thank God. Let's get this in the map. I'm so happy right now because I was so worried they were going to put it at the end. Like the world was going to give me the checkpoint towards the end of the map, which would not have been convenient at all. But we got a pretty good level and here is our nice big checkpoint. Let's go. Let's place it right in front of the padded block here. And I think that's that's perfect. But maybe we can make it a bit smaller. Yeah, it's a bit large, isn't it? Oh, hold on a second. Look at that width. Oh, this looks pretty cool. But I think this is just about right. And let's just center it. That looks like a pretty good size. Let's give it a quick test and beautiful. Look at that. Here's our checkpoint. And let's see what our next object will be. So far, so good. I'm really, really enjoying this. <laughs> I, I, I want to, I can't wait to finish the map and then give it a play test. That's going to be absolutely awesome. You can see the names getting bigger and bigger. We're getting close to the end here. And the chosen object is a padded floor. Here we go. Padded floor, where you at? Oh, it's right here. Okay, nice. <laughs> that was uh, quite easy to find. Ooh, it's it's a, it's a, it's very similar to, to this bumper object here. So let's see if we can change the settings of this. Oh, the only thing you can change about is the color. All right, I'm just going to close my eyes and choose a random color. The color we get is pink. Nice. I like pink. Pink is a W color. And I guess we'll just place it right here. And oh, hold on. You can change the size of this. Okay, I did not know that. Let's see. Hmm. I guess we'll just, uh, no, no, hold on. We're only allowed to place one. Uh, okay. All right, you know what? Before we resize this, let's see what our next object will be. And we can resize it um, uh, accordingly. So far, so good. Next up is... Ooh, Doordash or Bumper? Okay, Bumper. We got Bumper. Let's get it. Let's see how this looks like before we decide how to resize the floor. All right, here is our Bumper. Ooh, okay. I'm just thinking. Hmm. Do you know what we'll do? I have an idea. Okay, for now, let's let's place this, um, right. Uh, let's just place this here for now. I'm thinking we should stretch this out. Make it thin, but long. Like, around, around that is good, I think. And then in the middle, we'll get our bumper over here and place it right in the middle there. Let's see if that's uh, easy but not too easy. Yeah, that is a bit difficult to jump around. So we'll we need players will need to jump around and dive uh, just like that. So we'll have the bumper here in the middle, just like that. Perfect. I think that's pretty good. Not too hard, not too easy. It's a pretty good balance. I'm really glad that we were able to adjust the bumper with the, the padded floor. So let's see what we get next. Pendulum. <laughs> We've got the thick bonkers. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's get this thick bonkers out. <laughs> Oh, it's this. Oh my goodness me. I like to call it the spiky yeetus, not the thick bonkers. <laughs> Let's see, how should we place this? Oh, this is going to be tough, you know. We might have to do some adjusting here. Um, okay. Ooh, how should we do this? Do you know what I'll do? I'll get this padded floor here and stretch it a bit longer. 
Oh, no, no, not like that. Oh, God. What have I done? Uh, grab this over here and stretch it out like that. A bit longer. I think that should be good. Now, let's get our bunkers and place it right here. And let's give it a quick play test. So, let's say I'm going here. Oh, that's going to be tough. You need to stand right here and then go. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty good. That's actually um, first try as well. Let's get it. We got a, a pretty good length. All right, I did a quick count and I think we're about 20 objects in. You can pause the video and count for yourself if you like to do so. And our next one is a ramp. But what ramp? Padded ramp. Okay, I thought it was going to be a basic ramp for a second there. Here we go. Here's our padded ramp. Let's see. I think I misspelled it, by the way. I, I meant to put basic ramp, not padded ramp. So that's my bad. Should we place this down at the bottom or... Hmm. How should we place this one? You know what? Let's place it like this. Lead it upwards. Uh, color. I'm just going to choose a random color once again. And boom. We got another pink color. So what should we make the gradient? Ooh. Should we make it strong? Oh my goodness me. Wait, can you even climb that? <laughs> Let's see if you can climb this uh, gradient. All right, let's, let's give it a test. Oh, yes, you can climb this. Oh, I want to make it steep. I really want to make it steep. Just to make it a bit, <laughs> a bit more difficult. You know what? Let's... I think it's a bit too steep, so let's change it down by one. That's good. That's good. I think that's good. Slope distance uh, large. Yeah, we'll do that. So let's place it a bit higher. Just like that. Hold on a second. Uh, no, I don't want to delete it. Oh, God. I right, zoom in a bit here. Let's make it level. And that's perfect. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, wait, actually. Oh, I didn't realize I went over. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, let's see how this works. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So here's our padded ramp. And let's get into our next object. And the chosen one will be... Ooh. Push ramp 2? Okay, we got another push ramp. But this time it's push ramp 2. Here's our push ramp 2. And do you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to literally just place it on top of this. And just make it live harder for everyone else. Because I'm not too sure what else to do with... Uh, this object let's see if we can rotate it oh okay hold on a second and then make it go a bit up or down yep there we go perfect and place it right right here let's see if it slides down when we uh play test oh it does slide down okay you know what hold on can you climb on top of it no you can't even climb on top of it mm, can you change the size of this yes you can yes okay it, let's make it small let's make it small just make it life a bit easier for everyone um i guess we'll just we'll just place this on top of here just to make it like an obstacle a bit harder to climb this up will would the for us this time let's see it's getting smaller and smaller flag oh a decoration okay we got a decoration a flag or a sign we have a sign okay what i noticed whilst looking for the flag there is a little wall here and i believe this is the end of the map i did not realize this whilst making this video but uh, an easy solution to this we can just go left or right we can turn the map uh, uh, on a different way. I just want to quickly double check if that is the end of the map. Let's see. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, everyone. Yes, looks like this is the end of the map. So I guess we're going to have to take a quick turn. So let's off, let's find our sign now. It should be in the decorations. And it is our sign. Wait, hold on a second. Can you even stand on this? Is this a physical object? We need to test this out. All right, here is our sign. Let's see if it's actually a physical object or if you just go through it. Yeet. Oh, it is a physical object. Okay, okay. I thought I thought you just face through it. Interesting. Can we do something with this? Let's give it a rotate. Oh, it doesn't let us rotate it like up or down, only sideways. Mm, I don't think we can really do much with this. You know what? Let's, let's be nice. We're going to make the map go right now since we can't go forward. So we'll just... Let everyone know to go in the right direction. <laughs> All right, I'm closing my eyes for this one. Ooh, let's see. What will it be? Come on, give us some luck. And I'm going to open my eyes in three, two, one. A cloud. Okay, we have another decoration. I, I really hope you can stand on this one. A cute cloud, the description says. Whoa, that is a huge cloud. Goodness me, look at the size of that. Okay, wait, I, I need to see if you can stand on top of this. <laughs> Here we go. And yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Oh, it's bouncy. Okay. This is, this might be a bit difficult. Hold on. It's a very bouncy cloud. So, okay. You know what? Mm. Is it possible to go across the whole cloud? No. Okay. Um, let me think. Hmm. I need, to, I need to pull out the 200 IQ. I need to pull out the big brain. Let's see. Okay. You know what we'll do? So at the end of the ramp, we'll, ma we'll make the cloud a bit lower. Just like. Come on, why is it not letting me place it? 
Alright, so we'll put it down here. And let's spawn up here, see, see what we can do from here. So let's say we're running up this ramp. We find the cloud, we jump on it. Okay, that's that's fine. So what we can do is put an object in front of the cloud just here. It depends what the next object will be though. This is why the this is so interesting. You just don't know what's gonna come next. Okay, if it could be a nice big flat platform, that would be very convenient. Speak of the devil, it is slime floor. Let's go, we got slime floor. Now this is gonna be interesting. I was actually looking forward to getting this object because I love slimy obstacles because of the new slide mechanic that they've introduced the full guys. All right, what we'll do is we'll place the floor right. We'll place it right here and make it go outwards just like this. Okay, let's see if we can actually land on the floor. So here we go. We'll go on the clouds and yeah, looks like we can get on the floor. Do you know what? I'll, I'll make it a bit closer to the cloud wall just to make it a bit easier. I, I nearly fell off there. There we go. That's perfect. All right, let's give it one more try just to see if it works. Here we go. Jump on the cloud. Boom. Do a little dive. And we make it to the slide floor. Let's go. Now it's time for the next object. All right. Now that we got a nice flat, big surface, anything is fine. Uh, and we get the seesaw. The legendary seesaw. Let's go. Okay, everyone. I I was about to place the seesaw, but I did a little play testing and I noticed this. Look, take a look at this. Okay, I, I flopped that, but let me try that again. And then boom, just like that, you're on the slime. So what we'll do to fix this is we'll reduce the slime just a little bit. There we go. Because as mentioned before, you can just bounce off this and then boom, you're on the slime, you know? So, and I think this is a pretty good size anyway. Okay, now that we've fixed that, let's get our seesaw. And here it is. Should we, or should we make it that way or this way? You know what, let's make it this way right about here is good looks pretty good to me and then what's gonna happen is players are gonna go up so we'll we need to put an object here let's see what that object will be will what are you gonna give us today and it's gonna give us curved divider or spinning plate spinning plate here we go we got a spinning plate everyone okay our budget actually looks pretty good i don't think we're gonna run out which is amazing to hear and here is our spinning plate oh this actually fits quite well you know so if we can just place it um uh, right tree how short how far should we make it that's the question oh my gosh i be evil okay everyone here we go so we're gonna rotate it this way and players will have a small place to land on now nah, i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm not that evil <laughs> so let's rotate it back this way oh my god what am i doing well, I'm confusing myself. Okay, let's reset this. There we go. That's better. <laughs> so we don't need to... I don't think we'll need to rotate it. Can we change the size? Yes, we can change the size. Let's make it nice and large. Uh, we'll make it normal speed. Or should we do fast? No, let's do fast. Let's, let's make it nice and fast. And we'll place it right there on the edge. So let's give it a quick play test. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll put it just a bit lower in case the seesaw doesn't go too well. Just like that. I think that's pretty good. So here is our spinning plate. We'll go around this way and then yeet. Let's see what our next object will be. There's still so many crazy objects remaining. So let's see. Our last decoration. I think that's our last decoration. The flag. We got the legendary flag. So here is our... Is that rotating? Oh my god, that actually looks really cool. I don't think I've seen this version of the flag before. It looks really, really cool. So let's place this down. I just want to quickly test once again if it's physical. You can actually touch it, you know. So let's place it here and yeet. Yes, you can touch the flag. How are we going to include this in the map? Can you make it so it doesn't rotate? That would be very nice. Okay, first of all, let's get it nice and flat. Yeah, that's perfect. And we'll place it like, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't think it's... So you jump on... The... No, that's not going to work, is it? Do you know what I'll do? Since it's spinning, I we just can't get it to stop. It's literally impossible to land on it. So what I'll do is I'm going to place it in front of the spinning plate. Just to have it as like an obstacle to make the level a bit harder. So we'll place it literally just in front of here. There we go. Perfect. And it's a nice decoration, you know? <laughs> Can't complain about it. There's only 12 objects remaining. Damn, this has gone a lot faster than I thought. And we, the swinging axe. The legendary swinging axe. Oh god, I don't know how we're going to include this now. But let's see. Let's go back into the map. Okay, first things first. Let's pull out the swinging axe. Here it is. Mm, how are we going to do this? So we need to make players actually land on something after jumping off the spinning plate, right? 
So let's roll it here. How are we going to rotate this? I want to make it sideways. Why is it not going sideways? Oh, hold on a second. Okay, I think, I think I'm getting it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. That's good. That's a lot better. Let's put it. Can I make it bigger? Size? Okay, so we'll make this slow and put it right here. Let me give this a quick play test and see if this will work out. So can you actually land on the axe? Yes, you can land on the axe. I just did it. Wow. That, I think I got very lucky, though. So we might, we're gonna, we might have to make this a bit easier. What I'll do is I'll reduce the speed of the spinning plate. We'll make it, we'll make it normal speed. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that, that's a bit better, isn't it? So when the spinning axe comes, oh, but the, the flag is in the way. That's the problem. But no, it's doable. It's doable. Hold on a second. You just have to be very careful. Yeah, it's doable. Okay, it's. I think this part's a bit difficult, but I don't think there's anything else we can do to make it easier. So yeah, please give us a nice simple object. Oh my god, if it's something else, I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Blizzard fan flat. Okay, that's alright. That's alright. It is flat, and it's actually it, it can project you into air. So we hopefully we can do some good things with this. So here is our second fan of the map, but this time it's flat. So I'm gonna make this very easy to land on because this part's already very difficult. What I'll do is. We'll make it as large as possible. Oh, wait, we can't even change the size of it. Oh, well, we'll make the force normal and wind distance normal, I think. We just need this something to land on, you know? So we'll place it right here. We're going to give this a quick play test and see if we can land on it. There we go. We are now on the axe. And yeah, that's fine. We just need to stay on this for a while. And then boom, we're on the fan. We have our final 10 objects remaining. Here we go. Ooh, conveyor floor. We finally got a nice floor. Thank God for that. <laughs> Conveyor floor, where you at? Oh, okay. So it's a speed boost one. Here's our... Why is it so small? <laughs> ah, yo. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can change the color of it too. We'll get to the color later. I actually need to see this. Can you not change the size of it? Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. That's how you change the size of it. Okay, okay. Let's go. You know what? We had our other conveyor going forward. So make let's make this one reversed and make it go backwards. So we'll have it reversed. Uh, and rotate it this way. There we go. Let's make it bigger as well. Perfect. Place it right. So si since there's a fan, we won't make it like right next to it. We'll make it a bit further. Okay, let's see if we can reach it from here. So we take the fan. Uh, nope, that is way too far. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll change the fan force to strong. And maybe we can reach it now. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, just about. Okay, let's bring it a bit closer here. And I think that's perfect. All right, let's give it a shot. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So we land on this and we continue on with the level. Nine objects remaining. The text is so much bigger than comparing to the beginning of the video. But now we get curved divider or edge. We got a curved edge. All right, so this was pretty easy to find. Here is our curved edge. What's it, what does the description say? Keep players from running off the edges of your round with this simple wall. But I don't want to do that. I want to use it as a platform. The color will do random and boom. And the walls. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, you can add walls to this. Okay, interesting. Wait, can I change the size? Oh, yes, you can. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Perfect. So what we'll do is we'll grab this. Give it a little rotate. Just like that. Downwards. Perfect. And we'll have it uh, level with the reversed conveyor. Oh, I need to zoom in a bit here. Put it down just like that. Oof. Oh my God. It actually fits pretty good. It fits a lot better than I thought. And we'll resize it to fit exactly with the conveyor. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. I just want to see how it acts when we walk on it. Let's see. Okay. So you can stand on here and you want fall through the gaps. Yeah, that's perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see what our next object will be. And we have, we haven't had any cannons yet. DoorDash? Ooh, uh, conveyor ramp. Here we go. That's two conveyors now we've had right next to each other. Look at this. Let's make this one go forward now. And we'll give it a little rotate. Rotate this way. Nice, beautiful. Let's place this a bit lower so players can land on it a bit easier. Just like a bit more, just like that. Perfect. What can we do with this? We can change the settings. Oh, we can change the size. Should we make it large? Yeah, let's make it large. Might as well make it fit with the others of objects. We'll make it fast this time and make it go forwards. Perfect. And here is our conveyor ramp. Let's give it a quick test. See how it runs. Yeah, yeet. And oh, that is fast. Nice. We love it. Watch, I'm calling it. It's going to be DoorDash. I have a feeling. DoorDash is coming. 
and it's coming now. Oh my god, I called it. What are the chances? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One in seven chance, and I guessed it. I know a lot of players aren't a big fan of the map DoorDash, but I personally really like it because it's just so unique from the other maps, you know. And I kind of like maps that are just all RNG because anyone can win them. But I'm not a big fan of maps where there's some RNG in it. Uh, I think that's, that can be quite unfair at times, you know. So here is our door dash. Oh, this is actually, this fits really well. So we'll place it as close as possible to the to the ramp. And there we go. Okay, let's see which one is going to be. The middle one. I'm guessing the middle. Oh, I got it wrong. Left. Oh, it's right. No way I got all of them wrong. Oh my god, it was the right. <laughs> Let's go, perfect. So here is our door dash, and it's placed quite well. I like it. All right, can I place it any closer? I think that's, yeah, that's the closest we can get, right? All right, perfect. So here is our door dash. My next guess is the cannon floater. We haven't had a cannon, so... Oh my god. Oh, oh okay, I thought I was going to get it right again. So we have the pendulum this time. Here is our pendulum, and what we'll do is... We'll, we'll place it just behind the door dash uh, as obstacle. No, not like that. Perfect. And let's make it large. I'm feeling a bit evil right now, so I want to make this part a bit difficult. So make it large and fast. All right, let's see how that works out. Yeah, I think I think that works out pretty good. So oh, I got all the doors wrong. Yeah, I like it. I like it. That works out pretty well. So here is our pendulum. Ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our final five objects. And our next one is cannon. There's our cannon. Let's go. Now then, how should we place this? Because we're close to the end, I kind of want to put this over the finish line and just make it go all, all over some of these obstacles, you know? So what I'll do is I'll place this here for now, see what objects we can get, and then we can rearrange it after we place them down. The final four objects. Let's see. Slingers fungus? That's my guess. Oh, close. Wait. Oh, it is the slingers fungus. Okay, I thought it was going to be the curved divider. Here is our slingers fungus. There's the flingers. Let's change the direction of this the other way. 3D rotate right here perfect hold on can we change the size of this oh we can't change the size of it random direction no no we don't want a random direction we'll give it um we'll give it a three second cooldown just to give players some breathing space oh but we have a problem the thing is the door dash is random we don't so how are we gonna do this surely if we just place it in the middle Oh, we can't even place it in the middle. Hold on. Surely if we just place it down here, players can make that jump, right? Regardless of what direction the door is. So let's say the door is on the right. Yeah, players can still make that jump, which is good. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then yeet, we're off. Nice. That works out actually pretty good. And maybe if we get like a flat platform now as well, we can do some readjusting just to make it a bit easier. Final three objects. And our third to last one is rotating beam. Yes, looks like we got the rotating beam. Okay, now this this is good. This is very, very good. Let's see how far this can actually yeet us. Okay, well, that was a bit buggy. And yeet. Yeah, that can yeet us pretty far. I think that's good. Let's bring this a bit more forward since we went so far with that. There we go. I think that's pretty good. So now let's say we go in here. We should be able to make that, right? Yeet. And yeah, perfect. We ran right in the middle. Now, let's make this uh, rotating beam fast. Size, we'll do medium. Medium's fine. Oh, should I do two? Nah, nah, that's evil. That's just too evil. We'll do one and we'll make it fast rather than two and slow. I think that's pretty good. So let's give it a play test. So let's say we're playing the map. We want to get yeeted. Your yeet. And we make that and jump over here. Perfect. I think that's I think that's really, really good. We are down to the final two objects. I can't believe it. This is it. We're coming towards the end of the legendary map. Let's see what we'll get next. Curve divider. That's my guess. Curve divider. And... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. We got it right. Curve divider. Here we go. I'm not actually sure what this object is, so I need to find it. Ah, here's our curve divider. Okie dokie. We're going to have to do the same thing as we did with the other curved object. Oh, no. We can't rotate this. Oh, wait. You can. Okay, thank, thank God. I thought you could have rotate this for a second. So we'll rotate it just this way. Perfect. And we'll also rotate it downwards, just like that. Nice. That actually works out quite well. We'll place it right here. And let's make it a bit bigger. Just like that. There we go. Can we stretch it out forwards now? We can. You can only stretch it out sideways. Let's give it a quick test. And it should be... Oh, okay. I can't absolutely yeet. it. <laughs> so we need to place this a bit lower. Just like that. Perfect. All right, let's give it a try. Yeet. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Now we are down to the final object. Last but certainly not least, the Holy Half Pipe. Let's go. Damn, this is huge. Okay. Wow. Here is 
your final obstacle, everyone. <laughs> and let's place it right here. I think that's pretty good. Let's see if you can actually land. Oh, I got yeeted. Let's jump on here. And yes, you can easily come over here and go through this um, half pipe. Let's see what the settings is. So you can make it large or small. Let's make it uh, large. What should we make the obstacles? Let's do swinging axes. You know what? Since it's the final obstacle, we're going to make it pretty much impossible. We'll add seven axes. I'm feeling so evil right now. Since it's the final obstacle, I want to make this as hard as possible. <laughs> so we have seven axes on it. They're all fast. And one last thing. Let's rotate it so it's a bit upwards as well. There we go, just like that. And bring it up here so players can land on it. Perfect. Let's give it a quick play test and see how this goes out. Yeah, I think that's fine, actually. That's that's pretty. That's looking pretty good, isn't it? In fact, I might even rotate it a bit more. That was a bit too easy. Oh, now that's evil. Okay. Oh, I actually cancelled it. Wow, that is very high. Let's see. Let's see now. Is this still doable? As long as it's doable, that's what's important. Yes, this is doable. All right, this is the final obstacle. Let's go. Oh, man, this is really cool. And now... It's time for the finish line. Let's get it. So we just managed to hit just under our maximum budget, which was good. Unfortunately, we couldn't include the spinning plate mace here because it would be it would have been over budget. But maybe we can in the next video. And here we go. This is it. Here is our finish line. Let's see. How should we place this? Let's make it. That is a bit too big. So we'll make it medium. That fits quite well with the half pipes. We'll place it right, right about here. That looks pretty good. Let's give this one quick play test. And can we make that jump? Yes, we can. Let's go. And that's it. Here is our map, everyone. Take a look at this. Wow. I did not expect that. That actually went a lot better than I thought. I thought it would be a lot more chaotic, but we managed to pull through it and get everything organized in place. Just to make this part a bit harder as well, what I'll do is I'll grab the cannon here. Can we? Yes, we can put it up here. We'll put it right behind the finish line so that it goes over all of these uh, obstacles right here. Or should we make the ammo type? Can, can you do random? Yes, there is random. Okay, that's perfect. Tilt. We don't need to tilt it, do we? We can keep it just like that. We'll make the cooldown two seconds. Accuracy normal and power normal. I think that's pretty good. Let's see. Let's take a look. So we've placed the cannon right behind the finish line over here. So it will go down through here and onto here and make life a bit harder for everyone else. <laughs> I think that's the perfect map, to be honest. There's some easy parts, there's some hard parts, and there's some pretty alright parts. But before we end the video, I think it's time to name it. Oh, what should we name our map? Let's call it... Um, let's call it Akenzen's Wacky Wonderland. I think that's a great name. And confirm. Now that we've completed our map, it is now to publish the legendary round of Akenzen's Wacky Wonderland and give it a playtest. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! All right, first things first, we got a push box. Get out of here, push box. We're trying to complete my own map. And here we go. Time to land on the fan after the arc. Nice, nice, nice. I believe I can fly. Okay, let's go on drums here. So far, so good. We're 15 seconds in. Oh, I'm speed running this right now. Look at look at us go. <laughs> now it's time for the hammer. And we need to get used to here. So let's time this right. And yeet, come on, get the landing. Yes, landing on point. Let's wait for the boom blaster here. And we're about to get lifted off. Perfect. Get around the whirly dirty. I think that this is what this is called. Now, punch your glove, launch us into the air. Great. Rainbow dash. Uh, uh, that's what I like to call this part. Rainbow dash. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, this part looks actually quite difficult. How should we do this? Should we go left or right? Let's go left. All right. And let's do a dive just to secure our landing. Perfect. We are now on the rainbow part once again. So we need to dive on the fan here, as we, we learned from before. Ragdoll, that's fine. Wait for us to stand back up. And now. Yes, we made the jump. We got our checkpoint. Let's go. Our only checkpoint, and we have reached it. Time for the spiky eaters. Get past here. Perfect. Oh, I got my head got bogged by it. <laughs> Let's dive into the cloud here. Boom. Yee. Oh, that was close. Okay, that, that part's actually a lot harder than I thought. Time for the seesaw. Go, go, go. We're trying to speed run this spinning plate. I think this is the hardest part, the spinning plate right here. Oh, we got to time this right, don't we? And... Oh, nice. First try. First try. We're actually doing pretty good. Oh, this part. Oh, goodness me. Okay, I'm just going to go for the middle. Hopefully, it'll be the middle. Middle, please be middle. Yes, it was the middle. Oh, my God. No, but we didn't get launched far, far enough. Ah, oh. you know what? At least we know that the door is the middle one, so that's good. All right, come on, this part again. Wait for the axe, and now. 
Perfect. Oh, no. We just slipped. Bro, that, that cloud is so dodgy. <laughs> okay, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Here we go. And uh, now. Nice. We made it once again. Okay, so this is the good part. We know it's the middle door now, so it should be a lot easier, hopefully. And we got to watch out for the pendulum as well. Okay, wait for it. Patience is key. Patience is key. And uh, now. Yes, we made it. Come on. This time take us far enough. Yes, we made it. Oh my god, it's actually getting really difficult. Go, 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 go. This is it. It's the final push. Harvey O'Brien, stop inviting me. Come on, man. We're trying to complete the map here. We're in the final part. This is it. Here we go. Come on, go on. Can we make it? Oh, oh, we got hit. No, 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 no. If I, if I died because of that, oh my goodness me. Three, two, one, and we made it. Test complete, let's go. We completed our own map. Publish round, of course, let's publish the round. That was actually really fun. I, I really like the map, it's great, it's awesome. Round published, here we go. Everyone, if you would like to try the map out, you are more than welcome to do so, of course. The code is right here. I'll also put it in the description as well. You know what? To make things even more fun, let's make a challenge. So the challenge is to speed run this map. You have 30 days started from the date that this video was published. And the winner will be announced after those 30 days are complete. I'll also be doing another YouTube video after the 30 days are over, showing the top 5 speed runs. So if you want to have a chance of being in that video, everyone... Feel free to try the challenge out and there will also be a prize. For more information on the prize, be sure to join our Discord server. The link is in the description. My other socials will also be down there. Be sure to join our Discord server once again, where you can find more information on the prize and join our lovely community. Thank you so much for watching, you absolute legends. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you like more content like this, feel free to subscribe. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you all in the next video.